Everyone is talking about fall trends and what's trending, but no one is actually saying where to get the clothing. Well, that's what I commit. Hello, my beautiful kings and queens. It's your girl, Queen C, here and I'm back with another episode. <laughs> If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Ciara Spooner, aka Queen C, and in today's episode, this is Spoon Fed Fashion episode 4. In this episode, as you can see by the title, I will be sharing the top 4 fashion trends, and I will also be sharing where you guys can shop them. Yes, I am going to be spilling the tea on what items is what, where you can buy them, that's the fun part for me, because I am literally shopping on my phone, on my computer, 24 7 my boyfriend had told me one time there is not one day that goes by where you don't shop on your phone he has never said anything more accurate because i didn't realize until he said it like i'm on my phone all the time and like i may not be looking at clothes all the time but one hour or 10 minutes or five minutes out of the day i am looking at something to buy to screenshot for inspiration like i am always looking at clothing items accessories bags like everything you name it I'm, i i look at it there is at least one screenshot a day on my phone of something that's crazy and i'm here to spill the tea so i'm gonna make this nice short and sweet so you guys can get on shopping. The first trend that I want to talk about is a trend that I have on actually, which is denim on denim. I absolutely adore this trend. I feel like this is a timeless trend. This is something that can be here today, gonna be here tomorrow, gonna be here in the next couple of years. Like denim will never go out of style. Um, I just feel like it's more populated right now. So that's why it is a trend, but denim is always in style, okay? point blank period the denim on denim trend is very versatile you can mix different prints of denim you can mix different washes of denim my favorite thing about this trend is the the same color denim but more specifically dark denim which is what i have on now i feel like light denim we've always seen like jean jackets and um jeans all the time i feel like we've seen that but more specifically what i love to see right now with this trend is the dark denim sets i absolutely adore them that's why i have one i have some for you guys that do the top and the bottom so you don't have to go scavenge hunting for the same color top and bottom i know how hard that can be lioness is one brand that has a great two-piece option it is also dark denim i love the cinched waist that a lot of these brands and retailers are doing I have on one right now this one that I have on is actually from Urban Revival Urban Revival doesn't have the two-piece set it just has the top and it has the top in different options so it has the padded shoulders and then it has one with no pads it has one with like a cinched waist one with not so much a cinched waist so I love that about them but as far as lioness it's almost similar to the Urban Revival one but the top is more so like it looks more like a jean jacket kind of really love this set i seen somebody with it on recently and they look good so i'm pretty sure this set will look good on anybody it's a dark denim and i also feel like dark denim just it just gives a richer vibe than a light denim in my opinion the set is i'm not gonna say too it's not too pricey it's 200 so it's 100 dollars for the top and 100 dollars for the bottom i feel like that's a good price range if the quality is there because these two pieces separately and even together is going to last a very long time if the quality is there another brand that has this two-piece set option is h and m h and m has been killing the game with the clothing this fall season i'm not sure what's been happening but they have been coming out with some great pieces h&m also has a two-piece set however the jacket is a bit longer than linus um the pockets are much wider and the pants are also much wider on the bottom now the two-piece set is a little more expensive the pants is 119 and i believe well it's not that much expensive because the top is cheaper 
I do love the silhouette of the H&M. Again, I'm not sure of the quality, but if this is good quality, I feel like it will last. You can never go wrong with either pieces. Also, the two-piece denim sets doesn't necessarily have to be like a uh, shirt, jacket, and pants. It could be shorts. It can be a skirt. Anything that is denim. Remember, it's denim on denim. So any denim top with any denim bottom. One more brand that I want to mention, I found this on Revolve, is Asler. So sorry if I'm pronouncing the brand wrong. No. So sorry if I'm pronouncing the brand wrong. But this two-piece set right here I thought was so chic. It is so so sophisticated i love it you can definitely dress this all the way up and you can dress this down as well i love it i love the balloon sleeves on the jacket and i just love the detailing of the seams like the patterns it's so different so unique i'm absolutely obsessed with this right here this is more so on the pricier side because the jacket is is 370 dollars like by itself so this set is definitely on the pricier side by the way i will have everything linked down below and also on my link tree so make sure you guys go check that out the next trend that i want to talk about is suede suede is trending for this fall and i'm not mad at it this is another trend i think all the trends that i'm gonna mention honestly i'm not mad at i like all of them i don't think i have one that i'm like mm, i wouldn't do that i would definitely do suede however if i was to do suede it would have to be expensive only because suede is a texture that can get messed up really easily so i would do something that's going to last me a long time especially if i'm gonna pay my money for it that's just my opinion <laughs> these suede boots by Marigella and this other brand i'm gonna butcher their name so i'm not even gonna try to pronounce it i'll put it on the screen for you guys this these boots have been so popular i have been seeing them everywhere and i have a dupe for you guys this dupe right here is from h&m it costs 170 dollars well 169 and it may the front of the shoe may, may not be exactly like the margella and the other brand however the color the height the heel is a bit similar and i think this is a great color suede now the most popular color suede that i have been seeing is like the dark brown color again i'm not mad at it but this light beige color this neutral beige right here i it's so good another dupe is from the brand naked wolf these are more similar because of the open toe and the heel it's not exactly the same color i think these are kind of cute i love the scrunchiness in the middle i think this one is a definitely more edgier take on the boot i really like it um this is on the pricier side it's 550 however it's a great dupe if you don't want to spend like thousands of dollars now speaking of suede boots i have a whole bunch that i can give you a lot of brands have their variations of suede boots another brand is dulce vita their kinsey boots this one is affordable on the mid-range it's 260 it's a dark brown it also comes in black i believe and i love like um the mini belt the belted boots i think it's so cute speaking of suede it's not just boots it's bags it's jackets you name it somebody's gonna have it um this suede jacket by free people i am obsessed with it's the perfect it's perfectly cropped like it's not too long it's not too short it's perfectly cropped like by the waist and it's not too light brown and it's not too dark which again i'm obsessed with i love this jacket it's a bit on the pricier side i believe i'll put the price on the screen and speaking of bags the brand j pew i i'm just gonna put the brand names on the screen because i feel like i'm always butchering a brand name but this brand right here has these suede bags that i need it's on my fall wish list i want them so bad I'm gonna get them okay I'm gonna get either the olive the black or the brown one honestly any color even the the white one any color would do I think this bag is so pretty it's so affordable 
and it's just perfect for the season and the fact that suede is trending so i'm obsessed with this bag i'm going to get it i don't care what nobody says we'll move on to the next trend but before i do here is a couple of brands and a couple of shoe options bag options for you guys so we have the bershka kitten heel that's another thing so kitten heel suede boots is definitely a trending and it's definitely a must um kitten heel boots in general is trending but the suede kitten heel boots from bershka these are 90 dollars still okay the coach brooklyn shoulder bag in size 28 i think size 40 i'm not sure but the suede brown version beautiful can't get enough of it the attico brown suede boots beautiful to die for all these things will be linked in my ltk next time that i want to get into is animal print animal print but specifically cow print and leopard print now leopard print was trending this summer and it is here to stay it is not going anywhere but we are seeing more different variations of animal prints we're seeing a lot of zebra print and we're seeing a lot of cow print honestly any store that you go into you're gonna find leopard print you're gonna find leopard print it's been trending like almost the entire year you're going to find it so i mainly want to talk about the cow print okay because i have been seeing certain items that i'm like i need this right here we have um this free people we the free calico flannel shirt the shirt just looks so cool and it looks like you can wear this like multiple different ways i love this one right here this one is 148 a little bit on the pricey side for a shirt but i'm guessing that it's it's more like a, a jean shirt material i'm not 100 sure but free people has a lot of options just like any other retailer when it comes to leopard print cow print they also have these uh printed barrel jeans I didn't get into barrel jeans this year yet i'm still looking for a good pair that i really like but i haven't gotten into them yet but that is also a trend that was trending before still is people are still wearing it um so that is two trends in one leopard and the barrel jeans jaded london comes to the forefront right now comes to the forefront um i need this jacket Jaden London, I need this jacket right here. This is the real cowhide, okay? Piston jacket. It's on the pricier side. It's 510. However, I love this version of cowhide. I believe that the prints, like the cow prints that are usually black, I believe it's red. This is stunning right here. This is so me. This is such on trend for me it's such my style and I absolutely love it. I love that it's not your typical black and white. So this right here, yeah, it's also in my wish list I need. This Ghani tote right here has also gone a bit viral. You can find this on Essence. Another cow print jacket is from Mango. Now Mango, I got into this year and I have been loving their items. No lie, I have been shopping at Mango. I've got a couple of pieces this year and I have my eye on Mango because they and they're good quality too now this jacket right here is on the expensive side this is six hundred dollars but i love the print of it it's a white and brown print and it's not similar to the jaded london one the jaded london one definitely has more spots but this one right here very much western very much you know cowgirl cry war or whatever the case may be and i love it okay everything that i'm screenshotting and showing you guys i absolutely adore and i absolutely love so i'm gonna say that for everything another jacket from mango which is on the more affordable side is this 100 dollars leopard print jacket i like this jacket because it has two zippers so it has a zipper at the top and zipper at the bottom so you can play around with how you wear the jacket they also have this two-piece leopard set and like i said before a lot of retailers have the leopard set options h&m has it zara has it any retailer you honestly go to is going to have it before i want to get into the last trend mark jacobs also comes to the forefront because this bag right here this bag now i'm looking at this i'm looking at a screenshot so i put the name of the bag on the screen but this bag right here i've seen a lot of creators 
on TikTok on Box's bag. The inside is that maroon, like burgundy color. Obsessed with this bag. It's on the pricier side because it is, um, I believe it's real cowhide. And they have a mini version and a bigger version. Doesn't matter which version I get, it's on my fall wish list. This bag is beautiful. I love the zebra prints. I'm loving the animal prints. Like, yes, please. Can can this also remind us that we have to save the animals because we are doing a bad job at keeping them alive because they're going extinct? Okay, so let this animal prints be a reminder to save the animals. Okay, let's think about that. But we are going to get into the last trend, which I think you guys should all know this one, which is that maroon burgundy color. Red was trending this entire year. However, it was the bright red. But this fall, we are turning it down a notch and we are doing maroon and burgundy. Now, every retailer is going to have something maroon and burgundy for you. Like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, there is not one trend that I have said that I didn't like or that I wouldn't participate in. I'll definitely be participating in this one. However, this one is more so like the subtle detail. So like the bag might be, you know, maroon. Your tights might be maroon. Your shoes might be maroon. But, like, but I have been loving the burgundy jackets, the maroon jackets. And the famous one, the ASOS one, has been sold out. I don't know if it's going to be coming back. Um, I have notifications on for it. The viral ASOS jacket is sold out. But I have some options for you guys, so do not worry, okay? Do not worry. This first jacket that I want to talk about is from Nocturne. So sorry if I'm butchering the name. Um, I went on Nordstrom.com and I was like searching for stuff. And I seen this jacket, obsessed, the barrel sleeves chef's kiss the pockets on the jacket is not on the sides it's on the sleeves this jacket is me it's on my fall wish list i need this it is on i would say mid-range as far as price it's 319 gorgeous 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 it's faux leather gorgeous don't really have anything else to say about it but it's gorgeous Another jacket that I seen is from Pepper Mayo. This is more on the affordable side. It's a bomber jacket. I feel like bomber jackets are very essential for the fall winter time. Can't go wrong with a bomber jacket. So this is like your classic jacket. Um, I love the, the red color of it. It's a great jacket, great price, you know, if you want to be on trend, get it. They also have this two-piece set that I've seen and this burgundy color and i'm not mad at it i feel like you could really dress this up i feel like this is definitely something that you would see in like a zara but more for like the younger girls i would say however it is a really cute set another two-piece set that i found however the color is a bit darker than the pepper mayo was from cause now this one is a bit on the pricier side because it is leather so the top alone is 450 and the bottom I'm alone I believe is the same price this is more on the pricier side however something like this would last much longer than the pepper mayo so when you're looking at the pricing of things some things are justified because some things are going to last you so a set like this is going to last you now it's to your decision if you want to you know be on trend and get that color or if you want to get it in like a different color that's gonna probably wear 10 times more like a black however i believe that this certain color you know this is not the the normal bright burgundy it's very deep i think that this could definitely last and you can wear this different ways so i'm not mad at this set is it pricey yes what i get it not necessarily but this is for somebody out there um so that two-piece leather set another two-piece leather set faux leather mango like i said mango has been killing it now this two-piece set is like a crocodile material and it's much lighter than the cost set definitely not as expensive it's a hundred dollars for the top another two-piece burgundy maroon set that i've seen is the set by meshki it's so cute it is very much it's very feminine it's very 
much a play or like the workwear that has been trending as well i love it if i was if it was still summertime i definitely would buy it i'm so mad that i didn't see it because before i mean i'm so mad that i didn't see it before because i definitely would buy it and they also have a short skirt version and a long skirt version i just want to show you guys some red boot options because i know that is trending as well so you have these from tony bianco tony bianco has a lot of red options for you guys they have boots they have sling back heels um you name it they have it and they have a lot of options as i said another brand steve madden of course steve madden is gonna have the hookup for you guys like come on now um like i said a lot of these retailers like h&m zara asos mango are going to have these trends whether it's a bag whether it is a top a bottom a shoe they're going to have some type of item for the trend i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i gave the tea um there are more items on my lck shop link down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think about these trends are you will you be participating in the trends do you have some items are you shopping for these items comment down anything and everything make sure you like comment subscribe why because it's the aris Buna. should have subscribed sooner and i'll see you guys in my next episode Mwah.